My fellow Americans, the left's attack on assault weapons is back. There is no doubt that it's a tragedy when anyone takes the life of another without cause. But to blame assault weapons for these tragedies would be like, well, blaming airplanes for the 9-11 attacks. The problem lies with the perpetrator, not the tool used to commit the crime. The left is now screaming from the rooftops that there is no good reason for any American to own an assault weapon, that they're not good weapons for defense or for hunting. Frankly, they're missing the point. Take it from my philosophical guru and life coach, Ice-T. You know, the right to bear arms is because that's the last form of defense against tyranny. That's why fellow rapper Ice-T and I are in pop and lockstep on gun control, regardless of any East Coast, West Coast rap rivalry. Well, if the advice of a couple of aging rappers isn't enough for you, how about these reasons? <clears throat> Number one, the Constitution. The libs are already saying Chuck's off his meds again, and he's back talking about that old outdated historical document, the Constitution. Doesn't he get it that it doesn't apply today? Sorry to break it to you, but as of right now, the Constitution is still the law of the land. And since we are a nation of laws, not men, we need to follow it carefully. Number two, the Second Amendment allows for assault weapons. The left argues that the Founding Fathers didn't even know what an assault weapon was. As usual, this argument's wrong again. To say that the Constitution limits the kinds of guns we can own would be like saying it also limits the kinds of religion people can practice. How would it be if some people thought you could practice Catholicism, but not Scientology? Our founding fathers wanted every citizen to be armed equal to the army in case of takeover by a tyrannical government. They wanted us to have protection from them. How would things have been different in Nazi Germany had the people been armed? Think about the protesters that have been killed by their own government in Iran. An armed society would not have that problem. Number three, assault weapons act as a deterrent against foreign invasion. During World War II, the Emperor of Japan instructed his commanders to plan an invasion of America. He felt very empowered after Pearl Harbor and believed our military to be very weak, which at the time it was. The commander in chief of the Japanese Navy, Isoroku Yamamoto, told the emperor and I quote, you cannot invade the mainland of the United States. There would be a rifle behind every blade of grass. Notice, he did not talk about fearing the U.S. Army. It was the American people that he feared. Eventually, Yamamoto would stop trying to attack us and instead started selling us terrific fishing lures, which I'm a big fan of. It is the fact that there is a gun behind every blade of grass that prevents any other country from even thinking about invading our nation. Take away the assault rifles and you have weakened that defense. Number four, there's already a ban on assault rifles. Well, you don't hear that very much, but there has been tight controls on assault rifles since 1934. Well, how can that be? The U.S. military defines an assault rifle as something that can fire intermediate power cartridges on selective fire. For you girly men watching, that means automatic fire, like a machine gun. The left invented the term assault weapon to describe rifles that bear some similarity to real assault rifles, like this one. This way, they can make it against the law to own a gun that looks like an assault weapon. Really. Is it against the law to look like something else? In that case, shouldn't Henry Waxman be arrested for resembling Ratatouille? Number five, handguns kill people too. Some nut jobs claim that assault weapons are too dangerous. Really? So you find a Glock 40 caliber is just to be a little dangerous? All guns are deadly in the wrong hands. And number six, we need the jobs. The gun industry employs 184,000 people, and these are good-paying jobs averaging $45,000 a year. A ban on so-called assault weapons will result in laying off thousands of these workers. But of course, that's no big deal since we don't have an unemployment problem. Crazed criminals shooting up innocent people is a tragedy, but all the gun bans in the world will not stop them. 
criminals will always find the weapons they need to carry out their crimes. The only people that will be going unarmed are the law-abiding citizens like you and me. When you hear people talk about banning assault weapons, know that the real assault weapon is the liberal media. They are attacking your constitutional rights. It's a slippery slope. First it will be assault weapons, then ammunition, then handguns, and on and on and on. I'm Chuck Woolery, trying to save the Constitution one amendment at a time.